still get some advantages in terms of absorption. But the point is, at the at the level of a cell where the cell is taken in the vitamin C or the magnesium or the calcium, the cell doesn't care where that nutrient came from. Once it passes through the intestine, into the blood, into the body, it doesn't matter. This is the reason why if you do research on vitamins and minerals and their therapeutic value, you're going to see that studies that show the benefits of vitamin C are not done on oranges. They're done on ascorbic acid. Studies that show that 50 milligrams of zinc picolinate a day will change your, the texture and quality of your skin and your skin secretions and improve your acne are done on zinc. They're not done on foods that contain zinc. So on the one hand, whole food supplements contain tiny amounts of essential nutrients. They're basically food, just not a lot of food, and not a lot of nutrition either. And on the other hand, although at the level of the intestinal absorption, the forms and the proportions of our nutrients probably do matter, at the actual point where those nutrients are being used to do their duty, to do their work in a cell, it doesn't matter where that nutrient came from. And that's my take. Food is always best. Food contains the appropriate ratios and proportions and blends of various substances which absolutely do affect absorption. Vitamin C works together with minerals. Calcium works with magnesium and vitamin D. Sodium works with potassium. Copper works with zinc. These balances are very important. There's no denying this. However, we just don't have a good idea of how much nutritional, total nutritional value is going to be in our food. This is why we have to supplement. Food is always best, but we just don't know what's left in our food after we factor in processing and shipping and storing and cooking and the soils, etc. If you want to use a whole food supplement, that's great, but you're going to be spending a lot of money for not a lot of nutrition and for what is at the end of the day basically just a little tiny bit of food. In my opinion, that's silly. If you really want a whole food supplement, eat food, eat well, eat nutritionally dense, eat lots of veggies, eat little bits of fruit, use nutritional yeast. But if you want to be maximally healthy, add in a dense, loaded, packed nutritional supplement as well. And that means uh, uh, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, the Ultimate Daily, and other loaded, packed nutritional supplements with your foods. And that's all I'm going to say about that, unless you guys want to contribute to the conversation. 855-660-4261 is our number. On our next Bright Side episode, we'll continue talking about the hardening protein cysteine, actually the hardening protein cysteine's detox properties, and that will be on our next Bright Side episode. Time to hit our phones. Let's go to New York and welcome Judy to the Bright Side. What's up, Judy? Hi. Um, thank you so much for taking my call. Sure. Um, I've been listening. I'll try to make this quick. I've been listening for over a year, and you were very, very helpful with um, my family, especially thank particularly you. my daughter. And um, so I got the bone soup, the tang tangerine, the probiotics. Okay. So, um, but my daughter, she's a 19-year-old, and um, I um, emailed you a couple of times regarding her menstrual cycle. On the first day of her period, all most of the time, like 90% of the time, she would have, um, she would faint and her blood pressure would drop and each time she would, you know, go to the bathroom, she'd get very clammy and she would fall off, you know, to come home sometimes or have to carry her oh back to her bed and she would have to just sleep the day away. She could not eat anything. She would regurgitate. Okay. So, um, the doctor said that, you know, Listening to you, I know it's a digestive problem. I know it's a digestive problem, but you know I just don't know exactly what to do. Okay, so I okay. started giving her the bone soup, and um, you know taking away the the pastas, the the carbohydrates, and all that, and uh, that helped. Okay. It helped a lot. However, um, of course, being first year in college, she goes to college. She's on a meal plan. They have all the pasta pizza you want, and oh, and she you know passed out in her dorm. Okay. And um, hit her head on it. And so, but last Sunday, on a couple of Sundays ago, without her menstrual cycle, she was at home from spring break, and she fainted. Okay. And um, I, I took her blood pressure. It was 90-something, and I gave her orange juice and vitamin C and, and everything, and her blood pressure went up to 104, 105, which the doctors say is normal for her. And so, but on Thursday of the same week, she complained of chest pains, and she, I rushed her to the emergency. Um, they talked to me about troponin levels being elevated so high. About they what levels? I'm sorry, what Troponin enzymes, the troponin enzyme level. 
were very high, and that indicated apparently that she had a heart attack. So they, um, well, of course, I was totally just, but anyway, um, they, they admitted her and said that um, because of these troponin levels, cells have died. Um, usually the heart has been damaged, and we want to do an angiogram. They did EKG. Mm. They, they, did, they kept her for four days. They did a full workup. Everything was normal except the troponin, you know, they were to, you know, had to go to a car, cardiologist, and everything was normal. You know, it was a very invasive um, procedure for a 19-year-old the Andrew, you know, Graham that they did. And, and of course, nothing uh, All right, well, let's, let's cut to the chase here, okay, ma'am? Okay. Something's burdening this, this gal's body. Her, cord- uh, her stress hormone, cortisol, is probably jacked up, and that's what's accounting for uh, the heart problems, may even be accounting for the elevated troponin levels. Um, so here's what we need to do. We've got to figure out what's getting into the system that's, that's causing this kind of burden or causing this kind of stress. The first thing I'm thinking about is low blood sugar. Any issues with diabetes in the family? No. Any weight issues? Does she have any weight problems? No, she's 5'7", 130 pounds. Okay, so here's what you want to do. First and foremost, this is what I would do if I were you. First, I would, uh, you're right on about the digestive issues. That's always the first thing that you want to do. We want to figure out if something is getting into the digestive system through an impaired barrier, impaired intestinal barrier. Does she have any bowel movement problems, gas, bloating? Was she colicky as a baby, anything like that? Any food allergies, intolerances? No, I breastfed her until she was, like, talking, so no. Okay, Okay, Hank, we've got to take a break. We gotta take a break. I'm gonna give you some ideas here when we come back from our break. So hang tight, um, uh, Judy, and we'll we'll finish this up when we get back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to all our calls. We'll try to get to all our calls when we come back. You're listening to the Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs knows the importance of proper digestion. Make sure you take a look at the Ultimate Enzyme product. They're made with bile salts and fat digestion enzymes and protein digestive enzymes. And not only do the Ultimate Enzymes give you obvious benefits for digestion, but they can also help keep your blood flowing through your circulatory system. As most of you probably know by now, thick, sludgy, clotting blood is a serious risk factor for heart disease and stroke. Clearly, inappropriate and excessive blood clotting is a major health issue, and thick, sludgy blood is not just about heart health either. Sludgy blood can compromise oxygenation and nutrient delivery to all your cells and tissues and organs and ultimately lead to almost any health issue you can name. Concerned about proper digestion and heart health, order Ultimate Enzymes by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 or on the web at brightsidebed.com. That's brightsidebed.com. Order today. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. I will never forget the day my son Jeremy told me he hated me and slammed the door in my face. I'm behavioral therapist Janet Lehman. Behavior problems can turn the child you love and your life into a nightmare. That's why my husband James and I created the Total Transformation, the step-by-step program that shows you how to fix the worst behavior problems and get your child to respect and listen to you again. No matter what the behavior, defiance, backtalk, angry outbursts, disrespect, we can help you stop it. Now you can get the total transformation for free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. You can keep it forever for free. 
Limited number of free programs available. Call now. 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. That's 1-888-912-1595. 1-888-912-1595. Yeah? Did you want to see me, sir? Well, I did, but now that I do, I'm not so sure. Sir? Johnson, I got a mission for you that could change your life. Oh, good, sir. It involves traveling halfway around the world without so much as half a clue of where you're going and what you're going to do when you get there. Situation normal, sir? Uh-huh. Well, right, I'll be leading this mission, Johnson, so I'll be telling you what to do. You, sir? That's right, Johnson, and I say first things first. Oh, good plan, sir. And what I say is first is food. Always remember that, Johnson. Food is a big deal. Sir, my brother-in-law can give us a really good deal on some surplus MREs. Johnson, if you've got half a brain and that empty head of yours, you'll Call the freeze-dry guy like I did. That food is better for you, it rehydrates faster, and it's good, Johnson. And it keeps for up to 30 years. Will we be gone that long, sir? I hope not. Now, get your supplies organized and meet me down at the pier at dawn on Sunday. We sail at sunrise. Yes, sir. This adventure is brought to you by the freeze-dry guy. Call 866-404-3663 or visit freezedryguy.com. Great minds think alive. The network for the independent minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GC. Back on the bright side, talking to Judy in New York. Judy, I'm going to go a little bit fast here, okay? So, uh, okay. And then you can always send an email, Ben at KSCO.com, and I'm, uh, I just put on there that we talked on the radio, and I'll get to, uh, make sure you put your phone number in there, and I'll get back to you. So you always want to backtrack. Whenever you've got some problems, uh, health condition, health problems, you want to backtrack to our triangle of disease. That's the first step. The triangle of disease is the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and then the adrenal stress system. Now, if she's getting her, uh, she's um, getting her fainting spells at the beginning of her period. Is she bleeding heavily, by the way? Yes. Okay. Is she a heavy bleeder? Ah, uh, yes. She may be the losing. The first day. The first first few days. And that's when she's having her fainting spells. Up until recently, it was the first day, correct? Exactly. Okay, so she may be losing a lot of nutrients through her blood. She may be losing magnesium. She may be losing iron. Uh, she may be losing um, other minerals through the blood, and that tends to happen. So if she's a heavy bleeder and she's losing minerals, you may want to consider making sure that she's getting her minerals back. That's one thing to do. But you also might want to do, uh, consider uh, that she's not absorbing minerals through the digestive tract. That's what I was trying to uh, mm-hmm. get to before we went to break. And so you focus on digestive symptomology first and foremost. Probiotics can be helpful. They can help stabilize blood fat and blood hormones, uh, uh, female hormones especially. Uh, so using the bioluminescence nightly essence might be helpful and then patching up the digestive system and staying away from anything that spikes blood sugar is also important. Uh, using nutrients that help stabilize blood sugar, especially the B vitamins, which can help with brain health and heart health and may have an effect on her fainting spells. And then focusing directly on the adrenals by using deep breathing techniques, the slow, deep breathing when she feels like she's uh, uh, fainting or she notices that she's maybe doing some shallow breathing before fainting, that can also be uh, indicative of problems getting oxygen to the brain, and that can also lead to some uh, lead to fainting episodes. Uh, I just want to um, interject that she um, takes. The, uh, I ordered from um, Longevity the enzymes and probiotics, but um, she she gets nauseated when she tries to take the enzymes and probiotics together. So um, and what hap- and what hap- she's. She, she gets a bit queasy when she tr- when she's taking the probiotic to, with meals and the enzymes with meals. So I, I'm not sure. She still she still gets queasy when she takes them with food. Yes. She she gets queasy. A lot of times people get uh, queasy on an empty stomach. But you're saying that she no. when she, she takes them with food and she gets queasy. Yes. There's something per I'm I'm thinking there's something percolating in her digestive system that's not appropriate. Yes. You really want to be focusing on digestive symptoms. Otherwise, mm-hmm. it's going to be hard to find out what it is. See if you can link those problems up to specific food. Link her fainting episodes and uh, what else? Do you say she had chest pains also? Well, just past two Thursdays, um, she had chest pains. I took to the emergency, yeah, and they did a total cardiology workup on her. And, the, and after four days, the cardiologist sent her home and told her to drink Gatorade 
and um, gave her inflammatory uh, prescription, which I didn't mm. have filled in. That's yeah. Those aren't those aren't going to get to the core of the problem. No. You got three points that you got to work with first and foremost, Judy. And I'm going to let you go after this. Number one, focus on digestive wellness. The only way to do that, in addition to using supplements, is to link problems up to specific foods. Secondly, and, and maybe the most important point of all, is to keep her blood sugar stable. That means staying away from anything that, that spikes the blood sugar. Uh, and you know the, the foods: pasta, bread, potatoes, sugar, uh, fruit juice, desserts, etc. And get her into more protein. If she can do whey protein, that's awesome. If she can't, get her on some hemp seed protein and try to try to up her.